Hello, I'm Tola. I'm going to visit you in the next and welcome back to my channel. It is a vlog today. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. So today's, what we have on the agenda, it's the 9th of August. So I'm heading out to go to a women's conference at Tebaneko Church in Soweto. <laughs> I leave the poster somewhere here. Anyways, I'm trying to get ready and I am currently 32 weeks pregnant and the child. I'm regretting it already. I'm regretting it already. Like, why am I doing this to myself? How will I be going to the toilet? Because I pee every other second. But hey, let's get dressed and head out. at the time and I am running a bit late so I will catch up with you in the car or something like that I'll try to show you my full outfit and then yes let's go I'm trying to get up with you guys so as you saw the outfit I'm wearing this pink jumpsuit from Shein and I have this uh, coat on which was supposed to be my baby shower coat for last year but that didn't happen and then I have black heels on from Shoe City what else kick at heels guys oh today's outfit it's nice ne? but it's not practical for a pregnant woman number one i didn't zip my jumpsuit all the way up because how will i go to the toilet make it make sense and then the heels oh lord <laughs> i am not planning on what, what dancer is that? I'm just going to be a chilled girl today, okay? I am not doing that. So, the women's event is at the church. And now, normally when I go to church, I prefer not to put any sort of makeup. Because you might cry. The Holy Spirit might take over. And then, what's all my kids? So, it is... Yeah, we are late. Not like late for the event. Late for picking up the person. So, we can be on time for the event. Him. The event starts at 10 and yeah, sure guys, I'm tired. Let's just hit the road. I'm waiting for my husband. He, he's gonna lock the house. He forgot something in the house. Not he forgot. He's gonna do something in the house and then yeah, and off we go. I like a leg my Try we just go with the motions Close your eyes, ease your mind for a moment Me no smoke that make you feel you floating You no joke or you pressure, you know it You know it, you know it I don't follow the pressure, I be handling the business Get it finished, no extras, don't get in the specifics Thank you so much for, you know, for accepting the invite And celebrate this day with us, hallelujah Amen. Um, okay, I would like to welcome The very, very uh, 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 important people, hallelujah 
if it's your first time visiting the tabernacle of the testimony church please just wave your hand so that we can give you a tabernacle welcome hallelujah 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 we thank god for your lives we thank you for making this day special for coming and celebrating this day with us hallelujah Amen. we believe that you god will meet you at your point of need hallelujah mm -hmm. celebrate with us dance with us cry with us whatever that you do do it with us so that it's your first time hallelujah Amen. you are all welcomed in jesus name hallelujah Amen. i will just quickly go to um, our announcements for this day for Say hello, be Keep you a smile, keep you from frowning. You're beautiful in every way. Your eyes are like the stars. Bazalanya, I am in awe at what God has done and God continues to do in my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank first the man of God, you know, who I am. I'd like to acknowledge, even though he's not with us, you know, I call him dead in a time when it is very unpopular to call any man of God dead because of what has happened. But he has played a father figure role in my life. The things that he has done, I am not shy to say dead. I know that there's a lot of things out there that has caused the body of God to not say it. Mm. But Mina, I know what the man of God has done in my life. Mm. Ever since I met O Pastor Bazalwani Amfunka Mama, my life has not remained the same. Mm. God has used the man of God in my life in a, in a big way. Mm. For me to stand here, Bazalwan, it took it takes the teachings, the guidance, and 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 uh, you know the greatest gift that your man of God can give you is to believe in your gifts, mm. to believe in your talents. Mm. Sunday in, Sunday out, the man of God allows us to exercise the gifts and the callings upon our lives mm. and minister on his pulpit. And I'm so grateful, Bazalwan. I've grown so much under the leadership of Pastor Vus. So for that, I think in his absence, Singham Shai, we just need to clap hands and thank God for his life. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, coming to my mother in the Lord, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember growing up in hoping to get mentors in all sorts of places. And for some reason, I could never, I'd ask to say, hey, please mentor me, because and you gonna gonna something, you know when you're growing and you know, it's, there's something here, but I don't know how to bring it out or explain it. Umama was the Elizabeth in my life. Mm. She nurtured this gift. Under her leadership, I have grown. I never thought, Bazalwan, when she asked me, I said, Mama, it's been a desire of many years, but I never thought that it would happen so soon. I thought it would be 40 years when I'm 40 or something. Mm. So I am so grateful today for the woman of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I am her daughter. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it, it, is, it is by revelation, Bazalwan, that you can serve a woman of God. Mm. It takes a revelation. Mama is not only my spiritual mom, but I also take her as my mother-in-law, right? Mm. So there's, there's, there was a time that I was not cooking Sundays because the nanny was cooking. So is the one that has living in a mansion, married to a rich man, has the most beautiful kids. Their kids, their kids go to the most beautiful schools. You know, a woman who knows it all. Jay, that is what 
and definitions sometimes that we attribute to a woman of power. We also sometimes, you know, think of, of women that possess power as women that, you know, have succeeded in the highest way or the, 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 you know, the way that they are maybe CEOs, they wear the pencil suit. You know, that's what we've always thought with Nenye. You know, when you're like that, then you're a woman of power. Mm. And yes, it is a, a form of power, hallelujah. Mm. I don't want to shame it and say that those women that have achieved that, you know, are not powerful. They are, they really are. And by the grace of God, They've done well. Mm. But what happens, Bazala, to a woman that looks up and looks at these people and yet has these things here now that are not entirely. You understand? Mm. So, those type of women, what do we say about them? Because if you look at us, women, I need to be like controlling. Mm. Hallelujah. We, I've, I've been, in, in growing up and in being married and having children, I realized that, you know, as women, we, we like we like control. We like having everything in order. And if you look at somebody and you aspire to them, you strive for that perfection. Mm. But can we really say that we are perfect in all our ways? Mm. Is there a woman out there that truly has it 100%? A woman who's flawless. A woman without sin. A woman who has it all figured out. Mm. Do we have that? No. Hallelujah. Amen. But we put so much pressure on ourselves to be that. Mm. I want us today to see a couple of women from the Bible. Women who made history. Women who were used by God. Women who were in the lineage of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. Today, I want us to celebrate these women and give them their flowers. You see, when we zone into that with distresses, with persecutions, and with difficulties, for the sake of Christ, for when I am weak in human strength, then I am strong truly able, truly powerful, truly drawing from the from God's strength. This is Peter but Paul Bazalan and a thorn had been given to his flesh and he asked God to say, God, please remove this. Three times he asked and this is the answer that God gives to, to Paul. My grace is sufficient. My loving kindness, my mercy is more than enough. For my power is being perfected and is completed and it shows itself most effective in your in your weaknesses. Okay. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Hi guys, so it's almost a week since the last clip of this um vlog recording while pregnant <laughs> it's not a joke it's not a joke i could speak me saying i could do this in in my third trimester like anyways um i wanted to just to give you guys uh like how everything went down the conference was amazing it was beyond amazing. Uh, Minister Pindi really did minister to us because she was speaking about celebrating women with power. So we went from Eve all the way to kind of my Mary Noah Jesus. We went through all the different women in the Bible and how they didn't let their weaknesses or their background or whatever situation that they had to tackle stand in the way of fulfilling God's plan and purpose for their lives so it was an amazing sermon it was literally one over an hour almost two hours but I was captivated I was like I was listening to everything that she was saying and I was 
Pussy dropped dimes and dimes and I collected. I really collected. I was in my notes all the way. So it was a very good sermon. It was amazing. God really showed up and showed off. After that, your girl was lazy. I was literally lazy. So the person I was with, it's actually the mother of the person who was ministering. And she was like, let's go and take some pictures because they had like a photo booth. Oh, so <laughs> food and photo booth. After eating, there is no way I am doing anything. So I just relaxed and just enjoyed my time by listening to the music and just waiting for them to finish up. So by the time I got home, it was literally around 8 o'clock because after... In church we went to spend time some time with the family friends and stuff like that so that was great so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this um pregnancy series i can't wait to be done i am i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired i can't wait to be done but i'm almost there so thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I love you so much for watching and God bless you. Bye.